There will be an entirely new outfield making the debut in this one. Alex Gordon and Grady Sizemore have been guys I've been wanting to get for a really long time, especially Grady Sizemore. When he first came out, he was going for a shitload of stubs, well over 100,000. So my broke ass at the time with the stubs could not afford him, unfortunately. But now, why the hell not pick Sizemore up and Alex Gordon? So I think everybody knows what Sizemore and Alex Gordon are bringing to the table with the stubs. Sizemore is a beast against the righties. And Alex Gordon just has pretty decent hitting stats in general with the good fielding and the gun with the 97 arm strength. But the one card that people may not know about is the 88 overall flashback Coco Crisp. Now you may look at this card and be like, this guy fucking stinks. And that's what I originally thought when I first saw him. But looking at it again, pretty decent hitting stats versus righties, man. 97 contact and 88 vision. So this is a guy you can put anywhere in the lineup other than like the 3 or 4 spot. And he can just go out there and get base hits against righties. Have I even played a game yet with the 90 overall Jose Reyes? If I didn't mention him, or if you haven't seen any gameplay with him, this is also the debut game for the 90 overall Jose Reyes. So I was hoping to get something going with any of these new additions, man. There is a lot of guys making the debut for the squad. And I was hoping I could get something going with at least one of them. So Reyes just flies out to center field in the first uh, at bat of this game. And then Altuve is just grounding out to third base. So I had Grady Sizemore batting third in this one. I played BR once, I remember, with Grady Sizemore. That was a really long time ago, back when I played BR, back in like April or May, maybe. So I played a couple games with him, I'm pretty sure. So that's why I was coming to this game batting triple zeros. But like I said, I wanted to get something going with Sizemore or anybody in this one. Check swing right there. Bullshit. But the next pitch. In that case, up in the strike zone. Oh, and he goes down to get the curveball there and gets a lot of it. And he got more than enough of it, in fact. This one is gone. A home run. Statements are being made all over this channel in the debut games, man. I'm telling you, there were a handful of debuts, I remember. Like the flashback Josh Hamilton. And when was that? That was a couple of months ago, I'm pretty sure. I forget when that was. But when he made the debut, he hit two dingers in his debut. And then a couple of videos ago, the 92 overall Prince Fielder made the debut. So, and he had two dingers as well. So, good debuts have been on this channel a little bit. So, I was hoping to get off to another solid debut with Sizemore as he goes deep with the opposite field home run. So, I still need to get something going from Alex Gordon and Coco Crisp. And going into the top of the second, Alex Gordon will be batting second. So I didn't even play with him in any game mode, not in BR, not in anything. So I really didn't know what to expect from Alex Gordon. With the dinger that Grady Sizemore had, I was coming out swinging for the fences, man. I wasn't going for the base hit. I was swinging for the fences, and Alex Gordon connects with one. Can you believe this shit? Alex Gordon and Grady Sizemore go fucking deep in their debuts and now Coco Crisp is up haven't played in any game mode with him either so you wouldn't think right there's not a chance on this planet not on planet earth that Coco Crisp can go deep as well he doesn't need to he's getting a single where the where the fuck did the ball even go that had about three or four second hang time off the mound but that is a single, so everybody is getting off to good starts in the debut, except for Reyes, he flew out, but still made pretty solid contact, so least I could do with Reyes was get a base hit or something, I was probably gonna, I was trying to uh, lay one down with Reyes in this one, with the 99 speed, man, this guy wouldn't have been expecting it, obviously, because he wasn't playing the infield in, so every time Reyes was coming to the plate, I was always thinking about laying one down, one to see what he could do, I, I don't really know, I really don't know what, uh, Reyes has for a bunt, like what his bunt stat is and shit, so I wanted to see what he could bring to the table with the drag bunt, so I was going to do that in uh, just this game at some point, I was saying to myself, this guy's coming out, he's threatening, able to get a guy on base from the strikeout and wild pitch, and then he gets a base hit, but I'm able to get out of it, luckily, without any damage being made, so going into the top of the third, Reyes is leading it off, Trying to get something on the board. Like I said, I was planning on laying down a bunt. I didn't give a shit, and that is perfect. Usually when you do a drag bunt right to the second baseman, that's
that can be trouble because they will throw you out easily. Look at Sizemore making good contact again, but what a grab out there in right field. That is a decent grab to say the least. That could have been deadly if that was able to get by him. And then Prince goes down swinging as Reyes was able to advance all the way to third base. So I wasn't able to cash in that run. Still got the two-run lead in the bottom of the third, so not too bad. The way uh, the way Ubaldo Jimenez was, was pitching to, you're not going to see this guy up at the plate that much. I don't know what it is, but the past handful of games as well, my starting pitchers have been going out there and they haven't been giving up anything, man. Like, no joke. I've been only giving up... I, like a couple hits in the last couple games, Samarja, Anibal Sanchez in the games I posted yesterday, and now Ubaldo Jimenez coming out and just wheeling and dealing on the hill. So Alex Gordon wasn't able to get anything in his second at-bat, just flying out behind home plate. So now Coco Crisp is up in his second at-bat, making a early swing right there. I was swinging at everything with these guys, man. I wasn't waiting. I wasn't waiting around. I was coming to the plate swinging, and Crisp... Able to find the left center gap, and that is going to be bad for the opponent. He probably thought that there was no chance I was going to third base. That is a stand-up triple for Coco. So, he's two for two on the day with a single and a triple. Zimmerman isn't able to cash in Coco from third base right there. So, I wasn't able to score another run when I had another guy in scoring position. So, you would think that could be costly. I'm out here playing like the fucking Toronto Blue Jays. Get all these fucking guys in scoring position and can't cash them in. But that's a fucking story for another day. So, good debuts are being are happening in front of your face. Coco is two for two. And Sizemore is one for two, but that second at bat could have been more deadly than it was if that was able to get by the right fielder. So still, there will be a lot more at bats with the new additions anyway, so I wasn't worried about that too much. Going into the top of the fifth, Reyes is up once again, so I got a. This was actually a pretty decent at bat, man. Made this guy throw a lot of pitches. And I'm taking the walk right there with the check swing. So Reyes is on base. You know I'm stealing. I was taken off. Little hit and run right there. That was not planned, but it worked out as Reyes is able to make it all the way to third base. So now I got two guys on with one down. And Grady Sizemore is up again. Did some damage in his first at bat with the digger. I was swinging away once again, man. I was trying to get something to go with Sizemore once again. With two guys on, looking to cash in both runs. Didn't care what I had to do. And Altuve with the speed on first base. I was trying to get him in scoring position as well. And I did just that. So now there are fucking guys in the pond for Sizemore to cash in. And he does. And with that speed, I don't know why I didn't send Altuve home. That would have been another RBI for Sizemore on the board. But doesn't even fucking matter because Fielder is stepping up to the plate and driving in that run from third base. And Sizemore advances to third. So the bats are alive once again, man. The squad has been on fire. The squad has legitimately been on fire the past couple of games, man. I've been putting up hits everywhere you look. And with the new additions coming in and doing what they've been doing so far, these guys will be staying in the lineup. Because the last couple debuts I had with K-Lime and Cepeda. Actually, Cepeda hit a dinger in his debut. But other than that, I think he didn't do that well. But Jesus, the way that Crisp and Sizemore were coming out. Even Gordon with the... I didn't even mention Gordon with the fucking dinger as well. And Reyes got that fucking single with the speed. That's just somebody you need to have in the lineup. Somebody with 99 speed. If I can throw... You know, the flashback Jacoby Ellsbury back in there at some point with the 99 speed in the outfield. Who the fuck will be even able to catch anybody on the bases if I'm trying to steal? Crisp with the half decent speed too was able to run that infield single. I think he had Hanley Ramirez playing short, which everyone knows isn't the best shortstop for making good plays. So I was able to get another hit with Coco. So he is what, 3 for 3 on the day? I'm losing track. I think he's 3 for 3. I was able to cash in that run if you didn't see. It was kind of confusing if he was out or safe. But I was safe at the plate. So I'm now able to take the 5 nothing lead going into the bottom of the 6th. And yeah, like I said, I wasn't showing that many of this guy's at-bats. Because holy shit, man. It will just bore you to death. Ubaldo Jimenez was just dealing on the hill. This guy only has one hit on the board, I'm pretty sure. He wasn't even making, you know, solid contact that much. I was striking out a lot of guys in this game, too. So this guy must have been 
Well, he was clearly struggling against Jimenez because he wasn't able to get shit all against him. Sizemore is up once again, two for three with a single and a dinger on the board so far. So I was going to be patient. I was swinging a hot bat with Sizemore in this one, so I was going to be patient, Take waiting for my pitch. I got a 2-0 count. I'm sitting on something off speed, man. Oh, and he turns another one around here. And his fine ball game will continue. Give him another home run. Grady Sizemore may be a fucking glitch. That is no joke. Man, the way he was swinging the bat, making all this solid contact, he may never be taken out of the starting lineup again. 463 feet later, that is his second dinger of this game. Now three for four on the day. And then Fielder is following that up with a laser beam down the left field line. So the offense, can you believe the offense in the past couple games, man? I have just been going off. This guy was starting Nolan Ryan in this game too. So I thought that he was going to come out and shut the door on myself. It wasn't looking good off the bat. And I did the opposite. I came out swinging. This guy couldn't do anything to prevent it. Alex Gordon could have had another hit right there, but off the pitcher, bad luck. Look at fucking Coco Crisp, man. His second triple of the game. He is now four for four. What a debut from the fucking flashback Cleveland boys. Coco Crisp and Grady Sizemore back in the old Cleveland Indians days of the 2005 and 2006 season. They were coming out swinging the fucking bats and now Sizemore is up once again fast forward to the ninth because absolutely nothing happened in the eighth. Sizemore looking to go four for five in this one you wouldn't think right three dingers on the day I'll take a single up the gut. What a fucking debut is all I can say man I couldn't believe what I was seeing in front of my face Sizemore goes four for five and Crisp is four for four. Gordon only went one for five on the day. But he did have that dinger. He should have had another hit, actually, because that went off the pitcher. So he should have been two for five. So that is a decent debut. And Reyes went one for five, I think, too, with the bun single. So I guess not a bad. Everybody got a hit who was making the new additions. This was, this was crazy, man. I don't even remember how many hits I had up until this point. But, yeah, I thought I was going to be shut down. I always struggle against Nolan Ryan. That's one of the guys I find I struggle against, struggle against. Nolan Ryan and the flashback Justin Verlander I find I can't even touch half the time. So luckily I was able to come out in this one and just pretty much dominate. I mean this guy didn't have anything. Like the only reason Jimenez got player of the game is because this guy only had one hit on the board. I got 9 Ks. Jesus man. Sizemore or Chris we're not going to give them player of the game. Sizemore with the two dingers. 4 for 5 in the debut. That's some shady shit from MLB right there.